Okay, uh, music and computers. So this is our last topic. This is our final unit. And uh, I just have a short assignment and then a composition project for you guys. And that'll wrap up the year. So if we look at a major scale here. So I'm just going to pick uh, C. So D. E, F, G, A, B, and then C, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8, or 1 again, okay? Um, and if we skip a note, so if I go from C to E to G, this creates what we call a chord. So C, E, G. C, E, G. D, so if I skip F, A. So D, F, A. E, G, B. And you can see I'm just making little snowmen here. And F, A, C, G, B, D, A, C, E, and then B, D, F. These are called the chords of the major scale. And there's three different types of chords and I'm going to play them for you on the piano in a moment so you can hear them but I just wanted to talk about this idea so the three types are major minor and diminished okay so in the major scale because of where the sharps and flats are and the tones and semitones are we get this pattern for every major scale. So if I, if I have um, the first chord is always gonna be major, and then we have minor, minor, major, uh, major, minor, and then diminished. So major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. So every major scale goes like that. So if I pull out another scale, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and I build these notes, or these chords rather, I know that the G chord is gonna be major, the A chord is gonna be minor, the B chord is gonna be minor, C and D are going to be major, E is going to be minor, and F sharp is going to be diminished. And as I build these chords, so I would use all the notes in the scale. So when I build my G chord, I'm going to go G, B, D, and then A, C, E, B, D, F sharp, okay? Because when I write out the scale and I've got the key, this F has to be sharp, and so on. So let's look at um, the key of, of um, A. So if I go A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. I'm gonna get an A chord that's major, a B chord that's minor, a C sharp chord that's minor, a D chord that's major, an E chord that's major, an F sharp chord that's minor, and a G sharp chord that's diminished. And I'm just gonna skip a letter. To build the chord. So this is gonna get C sharp and E. This is going to get D and F sharp. This is going to get E and G sharp. This is going to get F sharp and then A, G sharp and then B, A and then C sharp 
G sharp is going to get B and D sharp. Okay. So I don't expect you to memorize this or, um, you know, really, but you should be able to figure out, okay, this is the one chord. This is the two chord. This is the three chord. This is the four chord. This is the five chord. This is the six chord. And this is the seventh chord. Now I've used some symbols here. So the capital Roman numerals mean major. The lowercase Roman numerals mean minor. And this little circle here means diminished. And every major scale works out all 12 or 14 of them, depending on how you look at things. Um, all, uh, all major scales follow this pattern. And what we do in music is we create these chord progressions based on this. So you might have heard uh, one, four, five, one. That's a very popular one. Or one, six, two, five. Okay? And um, for those of you that aren't good at Roman numerals, let me just write them out. So a single is one. That's two. That's three. Um, the V is five. So if you put a one in front of the V, it takes away. So five take away one is four. This is five. A V plus one is six. And a V plus two is seven. So I'll just write that underneath. So you have a, a reference point for that. So I'm going to go over to the piano now and I'm going to play you some of these chords, okay? So, as we said... So if I play 1, 3, 5, so I'm skipping D and I'm skipping F, this is that major chord. And you can hear that sound. Now, if I go to the next note, which is D, that's that minor chord sound. The next note, E, minor. Now, if I go to F, major chord, G, major chord, minor chord, now that's that diminished sound, that's that strange one. And then that leads me back to. So you've probably heard these chords and these things in all kinds of songs. Let's do, um, let's do that example from A. So if I start on A, I need to use that C sharp to get the first chord to be major. And then B minor, I need F sharp. And then C sharp minor, and then D major, D F sharp A, and then E major, F sharp minor, and then G sharp diminished, um, and then A again. Okay, so. That's what these chords sound like. And I'm sure that you've heard, uh, you know. These kinds of these kinds of ideas. So a chord, you know, the this first one that everybody learns. I haven't played that in so long. I <laughs> but it basically it goes one, six, four, five. So that's that's it. So we're gonna look at some chord progressions and how we can include that to make our music better.